No. When I was younger, I can remember very clearly when during my age of 10 to 12, that is where I was very easily bullied in school, in primary school especially. So that is one of the reasons why I was so afraid to go to school. I was physically abused, I was mentally abused by my friends and teacher wouldn't do anything about it. And from that day onwards, it has created a trauma in my mind that I wouldn't want to go to school anymore. Being able to realize that I was being bullied last time as a victim, I was very weak internally and I don't know how to defend myself. So after when I graduated from primary school, the first thing that I wanted to have is I want to gain power. I want to know how to be more confident to defend myself in just that one reason. So during secondary school, this is where I started to group a group of friends and then know how to defend ourselves and always having a mindset saying that no one can can harm us, no one can bully us, but us is the one who bully them. So we want to make other people to afraid our name and also be feared to us. Up till now, I still felt that last time when I have a group of friends, that is where I was the proudest moment because my leadership came out. When I was 15 at that moment, I was still in secondary school, in Form 3 moment, and I, I'm having my PMR exams. So the most harsh and heartbreaking moment I ever felt is where my senior passed away. This senior of mine is the one who guided us, this group of people who used to be rebellious and always taught us how to find a purpose in our life, find a reason why you're living. Because of this, I started to become more introverted. I started to become more reserved as a person. I wouldn't want to socialize anymore because I wouldn't want to create close connection and lose them at the end. I was having that fear. So, years goes by, I met Dr. Elin Lu, which is Coach Elin, and she asked me to join this program of Pro Kids, whereby I'm able to enhance my leadership that I realized when I was younger. After the whole program, I realized that leadership is an important thing whereby I'm able to affect other people around me, especially my group of boys. And what I'm doing is I wanted to share my story in a public speaking setting. So I did go for public speaking sessions to, to several schools in Klang Valley and also how I'm able to enhance myself, my own confidence by being MC for several events. One of it is Global, global International Competition as where I'm able to stand on stage and be confident for myself. From there, I only understand that leadership and where I'm confident at, which is on stage is who I really am and this is where I started my journey on walking towards my direction. So everyone is a leader I would say. Everyone is born a leader whether you want to train yourself as a leader. We have our own unique way of leading and that's the uniqueness and specialty of leadership itself. Well, there are, there are differences between two types of leader: A CEO of a company and a leader of a gang. The CEO of a company, they lead a group of people, they guide, they tutor them towards a positive environment and positive direction. As for a gang leader, for their perspective, it might be positive, but for the society perspective, it's towards a negative side. The most important thing is every one of us are leaders. We are able to choose what type of leader we want to be. So it's either going to choose the positive side or the negative side. Most importantly, the question is to back to you. Which type of leader you want to choose to enhance yourself with? The choice is in the